Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is The Lady and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to assemble the perfect setup for your uh, for your rod, for your gear. And uh, first off I'm going to uh, throw away 50 bucks just to let you guys see what happens if you have the wrong kind of setup. As you can see I've uh, caught myself in a snack and here you see my bars. It's uh, This is the line and it's uh, it has three bars left. Uh, then it's my rod. Obviously, it's lower because my rod is stronger. But then here is the reel, and you see that it's a little bit higher than the line, and that's because the in my current setup, my reel is the weakest link instead of my line. What I've done is I've applied a heavier line onto the reel than the reel can handle. So this is what happens if I start to pull in. You see here, this one goes in red. Uh, the moment that I uh, try to reel in line, now it's already on yellow, and here you will see as well that the bar will go, uh, the bar will light up red as well. So this is what happens when you don't have the right setup. And right now I'm going to break the reel. Reel was broken. Please select another rod or assemble a new one in the inventory, and bye bye fifty bucks. Anything to uh, to show you guys. Uh, what's going on uh, I just love you so okay here we uh, can see what I did here you will uh, see that I had a telefloat with a 2.6 line weight then I had the mini spin 800 I can now toss it away because it's completely broken you'll see here it says zero durability I can't repair it anymore because it's broken and it has a max drag of 1.25 kilograms. And then I added Mono 0.18 line onto it with a 4 point, uh, 1.4 kilogram of testing. And that obviously exceeds the 1.25. So that's what happened. Now, while I was adding a line to it, I'll show you guys. I already got this message. Line is too strong for the reel. There is a risk of damage. So every time you get that message, please, please, please put on a different type of line that is has a lighter test weight than that the max rack on your reel says because this is 50 bucks down the drain uh, and you could say could have saved yourself quite a lot of money it's always better to have your line broken than your reel or your rod so let's go uh, go home I'll show you guys uh, how to set up uh, a perfectly balanced uh, gear here we are going home. I'll drop everything in my home account. Here we go. And let's go to my home. Now this is my main, so you see quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of rods. Okay, let's go with Telefloat 650. It's the starting rod that everybody starts with. Here you can see it has a line weight from 1 to 3.0 kilograms. And it basically means that uh, the amount of pressure applied to my rod can go up to 3 kilograms. And if it exceeds, uh, it goes over the 3 kilograms, my rod will break. Obviously, we don't want to do that. And uh, always the rod is uh, or our gears in assembled in like three pieces. First off, we have the rod. Second, it's the reel, and third, it's the line. Now, there's a fourth that's a terminal tackle. I'll uh, talk about that later. But those are the three things that you always have to keep in mind. First off, you start by placing your rod into it, and then you check the line weight the, that it can handle, and then you choose your reel. Now. This uh, type of rod needs a spinning reel, which is the upside down 7. So here we're going to check if we can find something that is below the 3 kilograms, but just comes as close to it as possible. So here you see uh, see the type of reels that I, uh, that I have. And here you see the statistics. And this is the part that you have to watch out for, the max drag setting. This means that um, every reel has a breaking point and when there's too much pressure applied to it, it will break. So for this, the max drag setting is 2.4 kilograms. So if it is going to exceed it, it will break, uh, break the reel. Now, this obviously is a lower number than the 3.0, so the Clista XS is already a good, um, a good uh, reel to, uh, to attach to this rod. So let's uh, use this one. And 
obviously here we have the max drag 2.4 now if we go to lines you'll see here everybody starts after monofilament 0.12 millimeters and it has the test gram of 0.9 kilograms which means that if uh, more than 0.9 kilograms is hung onto this line uh, the line is going to snap so we need to find something a line that is below the 2.4 kilograms now we obviously could go with uh, the lowest uh, testing line but we want to catch some bigger fish so then it's always a good thing to take uh, a line that's getting as close to 2.4 as you can get so here we have the mono 0.2 kilograms it has a testing of 1.8 kilogram so that's uh, that's a great thing to have so we're going to attach this now when you're um, adding line to uh, to your reel you always get this pop-up and um, standard it's placed the scissors uh, the, this uh, icon in the middle of it now if you want to attach as much line as possible onto your reel grab it drag it all the way to the right and only then hit the cut button if you don't you'll uh, apply less line onto your reel and uh, you can't cast out as far as, uh, as you can so we're going to cut it now onto the terminal tackle now remember this is a, a floating uh, uh, rod uh, so we need uh, a bobber and we need uh, a hook and bait now there, um, starting off we, we have uh, several uh, kinds of uh, types of bobbers and uh, well you have the uh, floaters and we have the slim and the oval and the chubby now um, the oval ones is the ones that we start with so let's uh, uh, that one I uh, simply like this color more than uh, the brownish one and then of course we need a hook so oh, just have to scroll down say we uh, we go with the hook number one and then we need bait so now here is uh, another thing that you have to uh, watch out for if um, you check the, the hooks you'll see that it has a max floating weight and with the chubby bobbers uh, it's high same with uh, pear shapes and others with the oval it uh, has a floating weight of medium and slim and sporting uh, float bobbers they have a floating weight of low so it basically means that if I am to attach heavy bait onto it I'm going to get problems like now right now we're using uh, the oval bobber and if I were to add medium cut bait I get the message bait is too heavy for the bobber and it will sink please choose something else so what you would need to do is either change your bobber uh, change it uh, with a chubby one or change the bait now let's try small cut bait but again we get the same message so small cut bait here you can see as well it is medium to heavy weight and the medium cut bait is the heavy one uh, but if we were to go for bread you see that the weight is light so if I were to attach bread to it it will be perfectly fine so that's uh, for uh, telescopic rods, it's a uh, telescopic and match rods it's uh, one of the two divisions that we have uh, in the rod section and I'll show you guys how to uh, deal with uh, spin casting let me first drop everything in my home again now spin casting uh, rods uh, what they do is they use lures instead of uh, bobbers and baits so let's uh, go find a spin casting uh, here I have the value spin 190 and um, you can always uh, tell the difference between a floating rod and uh, a spin casting rod because on a spin casting rod it uh, one of the statistics that's added is the lure weight now you won't find these on, uh, on any of the telescopic rods or the match rods so a uh, telefloat uh, it won't have the lure weight and this value spin does so here it says line weight uh, 3.5 kilograms now this is a spinning rod it's not a casting rod so we once again need the upside down seven and we need something that's r just a little under the 3.5 kilograms now here you can see we have the Aspira Slim 1500 which has a max drag of 2.9 kilograms so that one would be a good fit for us now onto lines remember it's first the rod then the reel then the line and it has to be under the 2.9 kilograms of the reel so here we have 2.7 which is uh, which is awesome let me check if I have yeah 
that one can go on a bit and we're going to cut it and now on to the lures now there are different types of lures first we have like jig heads and you can apply crawls and uh, grubs and worms and stuff like that to it and then we have the jigs that just, uh, we can apply and then obviously we have the spoons and spinners that we can apply now here too it goes that you need to check the weight because, as I said earlier, uh, with the spin casting uh, rods, we have lure weight because we're going to use lures instead of uh, common bait. And we have to check the weight of it if it matches the the rod, the lure weight of the rod. So here it says uh, 5 to 18. Now, if I am to put a 21 gram on it, you will instantly get the message: terminal tackle is too heavy for the rod, risk of damage. Uh, in other words, it's going to, uh, it's telling you, uh, you will lose a lot of money if you're adding this uh, 21 gram spoon on this uh, type of rod. It's going to break your rod or your reel, so we don't want that to happen. So, we're placing that back. Now, if we were to add something that's lighter, so here we have lure weight that starts at 5 gram. Say we want to use a spinner of uh, 4 gram or 2 gram. Let's go with a 2 gram. Now it says the terminal tackle is too light for the rod. The cost will be short. And not only will your cost be short, it will also mess up your line. So um, again, uh, don't place this on to your, uh, to your rod assembly. Uh, go with something that fits the lure weight that is uh, given by the rod. So a 7 gram as we have right here is perfect and here it says terminal tackle weight is optimal so awesome this is something that we can use and because now we got the message that it's optimal you know you are good to go with your spin casting rod so that's basically it please uh, please uh, save yourself some money always make sure that your line is the weakest link in your setup and it's uh, it will prevent you from uh, having to go to the store and purchase uh, something else now last but not least let's uh, try and find the reel that I broke here we go the mini spin this one obviously if we place it on there you can see durability zero and I can't do anything with it anymore I can't repair it you see it's uh, blanked out so the only thing that I can do is toss it away Yes, bye bye 50 bucks. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this and um, I wish you uh, happy days, tight lines and I'll see you later. Bye bye.